Hey guys, Sam from 3D here. In this short tutorial, I will show you what you can do with the Blender and Characters library. Because this library is pretty big and you can do many things. In this tutorial, I will cover most of it. But feel free to go beyond this tutorial and do whatever you want to. Don't worry, because in this tutorial, I will go step by step and even if you are new in the Blender, you can do it. Trust me. In this tutorial, I will talk about changing the poses, changing the materials, append other libraries to character libraries and so on and so on. So let's get started. Okay, I opened the female Blender file, but for male it will be almost the same. First of all, how I navigate with the, in the Blender is basically I'm clicking, on, I'm holding the mouse wheel, I can rotate. If I click on the shift, I can pen. And if I scroll, I'm going closer now, I can play with it. So this is the most important thing. Okay, so first of all, I need to go in the object mode. I want to change, uh, for example, the jumper and see here is the jumper, it's green. What I can do, I can just change it, for example, to red. Okay. So the next step is if I want to change the material. And basically I'm in these settings. This is material properties. This is really important to go here. And you can change the materials. It can be, for example, like a glass, if you want to have trousers from glass. But for now, let's go for something more, more normal. So this is how I change the colors and materials. Now in the object mode, I need to be in object mode. I click on the generator and let's try to change, for example, the shirt to dress and see you have the dress now. And the thing, how you can do it is basically because right now it will, I will lose it because Right? What I did, I, I am in animation here on the bottom and I lose it because here on the bottom I have the animation of different parts of, of the characters. But if I want to render my custom character, what I need to go is to go in the end. So let's go to the 1070. This is pretty safe. Nothing is happening here. So I can move with the arrows, the arrow left, arrow right. And now I need to click on this auto keying, it's basically the record. It will record the keys of the generator. Now what I need to do, I need to, I can customize it as I want to. This is how easy, it's like basically the switcher, the toggle buttons. And now, okay, if I move with the arrows to the left, for example, it's still there, right? Okay, so I will zoom to it and you can see that I put the key here. Now, I can try to render it. And it will render what I saw Cool, so this is my render. I'm pretty happy with that. And we can go for something more, more advanced. So, okay, so I'm again, I need to go. If I want to play with the pose, remember, go to pose mode. If I want to like do something uh, with the objects, like changing the colors, I need to be in the object mode. And the edit mode is if I want to change uh, the polygons, but for now I will not change it. So, I want to show you what we have here. As you can see, we have this pretty in interesting the asset. In the collection, in the Blender it's called collections, it's basically the group, I have different assets. Every asset is named by the pose where it was used. So for example, with the pose one, I have the web page, the pose one here. If I don't want to, this is super important, because if I don't want to render it, I click here. I can still see it in the, here in the view, but it will be not rendered. 
if I click on the disable in viewports, I will also, I won't see it in the viewports. Okay, so all of these are disabled. Okay, so for example, what we have here, we have the laptop and lap uh, balloon ch chair for the pose number 12. What I will do is basically what I need to go, I need to click on the upper body rig. I need to go here to object data properties. What I see here is pretty magic because I have different poses here. And for example, I will try to go to woman 12th sitting with a notebook. What is important is because I'm changing the pose here, I need to select the whole pose. I am on the woman 12th. I click on this apply pose library. Click on that and as you can see it changed. Because, and this can be pretty messy in the, in the future, because I didn't turn off the auto keying, it created the key. Uh, I would advise not to do it with the poses, because if you have more poses, uh, basically you can mess up with that pretty easily. But sometimes you can have different key with different poses and you, can, you want to do it. But for now I will not, not do it. So I will delete it and now I will select right the woman 12th again to object mode because I want to change also the lower body. I'm on the woman 12th, go to uh, pose mode because everything is selected. I can go and click on the apply pose. Voila, I changed the pose. This is great because now I can go to the balloon chair and the laptop and now I have the pose. Interesting, right? You can see this is how magically easy it is. Okay, now what is important to mention is that with different pose, I, the hair is changing. So what I did, I basically go to object mode, I click on the hair and now in this um, object data properties, you see different keys. Basically you, what you can see now, I need to click the shape key lock and that the uh, hair is changing. So for every pose you can you can play with the hairs to because they will change so they will not go to the hand or to shoulder or something like that. So it will adapt to your pose, right? What is important to mention is that maybe you can use the key 5 with different uh, poses because it's really hard to mm, match like one hair with all the shirts, all the combinations of the shirts of the, or of the glasses. So try it, play with the shape keys and... Okay guys, now let's take a look how I can change the pose, how I can do the custom pose. So uh, I need to go to the, I need to click on the rig, then go to the pose mode. And now I need to click where I want to on these circles. If I click air as rotate, I can just rotate air and Z. I can rotate the head, for example, and I can do the same with a body, see? And this is how you can do your custom, custom pose. If I go, for example, to the animation, this is how you can like easily have different type of clothes, different type of um, hairs and so on. Because as you can see, I have double hair here. Again, I need to go, I need to uh, disable the hair. Because as you can see, it created the keyframe and this is, I mentioned you before, that it can be pretty messy. I will just delete it because it's not doing what I need to for now. But if you delete it, let's delete. You see what happened that um, now I 
I don't have any hair here so this is it cool so now what I want to mention is the camera we have the camera if I click on the numpad I will click the zero I will see uh, the camera if I click G or I can go here to move rotate scale G Y G X G Z like Z as an axis I will move an axis I click so for example G X I'm going in the X axis G Y I'm going up and down GZ sorry so okay this is the camera if I'm going to the render render image I will get the the image what I need to we have the background I created the background for you so you can you can play with that as you can see this one is a little bit uh, elevating but it's super easy you just need to you just need to select the whole object go down and now it will be right so it will be if I change the viewport shading uh, if you have slower computer go to viewport shading this one and here you can see or if you have a faster computer you can use uh, rendered viewport shading so now you can see that it's to change also the laptop so G Z I'm going down right again I need, I need to be sure that it's correct okay so that's it zero and this is how it will be rendered voila and that's it this is what I rendered and this you can't do without blender so I think uh, to do this basic stuff in the blender is pretty pretty cool so again I don't want to see it in the viewport so I'm uh, disabling it if I don't want to see it in the render again I'm disabling the whole group okay with the lights I want to show you how you can easily change the the lights and this is quite powerful and you can play with it a lot it's basically you have four lights here you can move them and here you can like uh, change the, uh, the type of the lights like to area spot sun point and you can be pretty crazy with that for example if I change it to blue see <laughs> so this is what you can like change the green uh, red and so on so I need to go back now what I want to show you is how you can combine it with our other libraries and it's quite easy and it's quite powerful because you can do even more custom things uh, with our libraries so let's take a look at it okay so I need to go to file append I need to find it uh, like the blender I want to import let's say I want to import uh, Christmas icons what is cool about it that I can import textures I can import materials uh, for example the let's say I want to import gold right so I I can create a, here it is this is the gold and I can create some fun with that so now he's like gold he has, she has she has gold um, hair or I can change the if I don't can find it I will write I will search for it so now here is the gold so the laptop is gold and I think this is pretty fun 
Okay guys, now I would like to put another object in the scene from our different libraries, like for example icons. So I will go to append, to file append. Now I need to find, for example, I will try to find Christmas tree. I will select all of them because probably I have one object created from multiple ones. I will click append. Now, as you can see here, it was append. I will create a collection. I will put it in the group. So Christmas tree. And now I will click G. I need to select them. I need to click G and I move in with this. Because it's so small, I would like to scale. But if I click S and just scale it, you can see that it's like doing what I didn't want to. So you can see that the trunk is just uh, doing weird. So I need to go here and change on the top and change it to median point because I had it on the indiv individual origins. I'm going to median point. Then click on the S and voila, I have the Christmas tree here. Okay, if I go to the background and click G, GY, up, GY again, GZ, and I'm moving with it. If I click in NumKey 0, I am in the in the camera view. Now if I change the viewport shading, voila, and I have different object. I can copy it. Get okay. it's again so small and I need to do the same thing. I need to scale it. And right now I can put it like in somewhere and the somewhere further. Uh, I need to or again uh, to enable the background if I am clicking the new numpad zero so this is what I have so I have different materials I have different objects and this is how you can create what you want to and uh, be more uh, powerful like without a blender and it's it's super easy thank you guys for your attention if you need more information about our library go to characters.design if you want to see our other li other libraries, go to 3D.design and if you have any questions, please reach out to me at samuel at 3D.design. Have a great day. Bye bye.